All right, welcome to Yard Work this week. The ball is on the 11 yard line. It's third and three. The score is 0 0. And the Jets are driving. And this is early in the game. And they're trying to get a early score here. And let me show you the coverage. And then I'll show you what they did as far as their pass rush. Now, right here, they're head up. It, that's Byron Jones, okay? And he's head up. On, and we've seen this before, okay? We've seen this little diamond formation. When teams go trips, you have to identify who is taking who. And let's run it a little bit more so we can see as close as possible to where the snap. And it's just about right there. Right there, because I wanted to get Bobby McCain moving a little bit. So, right here... They've already determined, and they're they're calling their they're calling who is going to defend who, the numbers, and this is going to be something like, and let's wait, let's wait right here, okay. They do this little double stack thing, right? So they already know it's right here, okay, and he's already calling one, and the man behind him already knows, okay, you got two, which means this man is taking anybody that releases inside right and this is outside and this is anywhere he goes man to man if you watch what bobby mccain is doing he's trying to take away this little shot place right here where all these and i'll show it to you okay a lot of what teams like to do is something like this to try to press the safety get him coming up and then you just you know you put it toward the back of the end zone right or you try to send somebody up and then you send somebody over. Okay. So like they'll try to, they'll try to do something like out and then to the post to try to get the safety, getting some depth. And then they try to run somebody underneath. Right. So dolphins have this covered. Okay. And they've already decided over here, this is going to be man to man. You know, they have a tight end. They release a running back. We're bringing a blitz. So, they're going to have to keep guys in. They have a very interesting rush, the Dolphins do, on this. But as far as coverage, they have it pretty much well scoped out. And they do a hell of a job defending it. Watch Bobby McCain on this. And we're going to run it. And we're running it slow, so you can see the play develop. As you can see, Bobby McCain is already, he's hes calling it. And as, as you can see, he gets on the hash. He gets on the hash, and then you see it. You see right there? They have like a little bracket coverage right there. Everybody's covered. Sam Darnold is on the ground. And I'm going to show you the pass rush and what they did with it on this play. Let's get in there. Let's run it slow. All right, now I'm going to draw it up for you, and it's interesting, all right? This is Emmanuel Agba, okay? They're having this what what looks like a, a three. It, look, it really does have that 3-4 look, doesn't it? Right? You have the, the two outside rusher. It, this is this is really like a 52 nickel is what they, they like to call it. But this is Christian Wilkins, and he's lined up in zero tech, okay? Uh, that's right over the center, which is the nose tackle. Okay, this is three tech, three tech. Five tech, five tech. Now, this is Mackay Becton. He's really good, right? Well, what the Dolphins are going to do right here is Emmanuel Ogba is just going to try to win 101, right? And Shaq Lawson, you would think, okay, he's going to try to come up right here and then going to try to run some type of game right here with these two guys, right? With Brandon Jones. You'll see what they do, okay? Jerome Baker is lining up like if he's coming off the edge. And he has every intention of pressing Mekhi Becton. And what he tries to do is he tries to work quickly up the field to get Mekhi Becton moving, okay, to try to defend Sam Darnold's blocks, uh, uh, blind side, right? What Shaq Lawson is going to do is he's going to make a beeline for this guard and engage him. He has to engage him. Kristen Wilkins does a fabulous job in this regard is that he just tries to loop with a swim move right into this gap right here. So he tries to get right here in the A gap and he engages 
two, right? What does that leave? Well, that leaves a lane right here for Brandon Jones to run up into. Okay. Now we're going to run it slow and keep your eye on Makai Beckton and what Jerome Baker does to him. We're running it slow so you can see, see it all unfold. Sam Darnold looking at the diamond formation over here. And as you can see right there, did you see what the, the that tackle just did when he signaled to the right? He's basically signaling to this tight end. If Vanoy comes off the edge, he has to pick him up. Okay? So it's one of those things where he's just going to check him and... If he does come off the edge, he has to pick him up because they're not sliding. Okay, run it. Here's the snap. And stop it. What do we have here? Well, Kristen Wilkins has engaged the center and the guard. Jack Lawson is on the guard. Dolphins are bringing too many to block, right? And it looks like Jerome Baker's coming off the edge, right? Well, he's completely engaged, Mekhi Becton. And that leaves Brandon Jones all alone. This is great design. Manu Ogba also gets in there, by the way. There's the sack, Brandon Jones. Great defense, spectacular execution, even better coverage. All right, Dolphins are driving, scores 3-3. Three, three. It is third down, so, and third and eight, for that matter. So, they could get a first down somewhere inside the five, but they're going to go for it all here, and I'm going to explain to you why. And this is something that sometimes a veteran quarterback like Ryan Fitzpatrick is going to recognize right away. And we're going to run it a little bit so you can see what is happening. They, there are an 11 personnel, and they're up against Nickel. And there's Mike Gusecki, right? Now I'm going to show you what Ryan Fitzpatrick is seeing. He brings Gusecki into motion, into the slot, right? And Gusecki's going to run corner route, flag route, right? Devontae Parker's going to run underneath. And out here, this is really just for show. You're going to have, like, some type of fade and then an out route, Okay. Now, what the Jets are trying to do is they're trying to bring some type of five-man pressure, and they do come with five. And what they try to do is they try to do some type of overload billets, and they overload to the far side of the field. This is something that's very common in the NFL. Usually, they don't overload on the hash or near side, okay? This is near side. This is far side, okay? So, if they're going to overload, they're going to overload to the wider part of the field, right? Dolphins know this. Ryan Fitzpatrick knows this. And what he's noticing is that this safety right here, this is Mays, by the way, good player, but he's in no man's land. He knows what the route combination is. And Ryan Fitzpatrick right here knows, okay, I have Mike Gusecki one-on-one -on, -one on a flag route. That's where I'm going. I'm not looking anywhere else. That's where I'm throwing the football. And we'll run it, and you get to see it. Nice and slow. See it? There it is. One on one. Good recognition by Ryan Fitzpatrick. And we're going to see the, the protection. And let's slow it down. As you can see, the Jets are trying to bring some type of uh, five-man pressure. This is a lot of what Denver tried to do and did it successfully a week ago. But their huge mistake here is that their safety has been creeping up into the box the whole way. And Fitzpatrick knows Gusecki's one-on-one -on, -one on the corner route. So that's exactly where he's going to go. And this is a mismatch. Mike Kaseki is 6'6". He's been in dunk contests. And he can leap. 
If he's up against somebody who's six feet or under, you go to him every single time, especially in the red zone, especially with no help over the top, especially on a corner route where you can put some air under the football. This is good execution. Very simple. This is QB 101, really. Find the mismatch. Find where it's one-on-one. Let your player make a play on it. All right, Dolphins have a 13-3 to lead, but they want more. In this instance, this is a very good piece of quarterback play. Dolphins are in 12 personnel. I'm going to show you what they're doing, and we're running it slow so you can see it. And the Jets are back in their nickel. And they just brought Matt Collins across the formation. And a safety is going with him. And they're, they're showing this no safety look, although they're going to drop one back. And we're running it slow until you can see them line up. And I'm going to show you what Ryan Fitzpatrick sees right before the snap. And here we are. Okay. This is... Some of the pre-snap snap stuff that a quarterback has to do, identify the mic. Okay, who's the mic? Is the first man either in a gap, A, either A gap, but closest to the middle of the formation. What's the middle of the formation? You're on the left hash. Okay, so you're on the left hash. So something a quarterback has to do, it's very simple. You count numbers, right? So... You already had a guy run across the formation. Somebody ran with him. So you kind of know, okay, this is man. All right. What they're doing right here is that they're, released, they're just releasing up the field. Gasek is going to get off the up the field as well. And Shaheen's going to release behind him. They're dropping the, the running back into some type of option, right? And Devontae Parker is running a hook. Okay. He's running a hook on the near side. This is near. This is far. But this is the final piece of what Ryan Fitzpatrick is doing. Is once he identifies the mic, which is right here. This is the mic. Right? Once he identifies him, you count. All right? The mic is the dead center of the defense. Okay? And we already determined... What's the center of the formation? The center of the formation is wherever the center is, of course. Okay, so it's right here on the left hash, right? So what Ryan Fitzpatrick is doing is simple, counting numbers. This is one, two, three, four, five, six. And you have one player playing one tech in the A gap, okay? So it's one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven players to the right side of the formation. He knows that there's four to the near side, which means what to him? Well, it either means that an overload blitz is coming and he knows where he has to go with it, probably the flat or to the release valve right here, which is the back leaking out. But what he does recognize is, hey, I have Devontae Parker. One on one on the outside. And I'm just thrown to a spot. I'm trusting my man to run the hook correctly because with this many numbers on the right side of the center of the formation, this has to be man. There's nobody underneath. There is no linebacker that could even drop into coverage on that spot. So I'm throwing the hook. I'm just going to step. I'm going to give a good look to my first read up here, and then I'm just throwing the hook blind. And we'll see how it works out. And we're running it slow so you can see it. And don't they don't all come, but it's another five-man pressure. And Fitz, Fitzpatrick gets some depth. And as you can see, he gave a good look, but he's throwing the hook blind. And he's throwing it to Devontae Parker. Devontae Parker's on one-on-one one -on -one with a corner. He's going to beat most corners in the NFL, one-on-one. -on -one. And now he's loose, and now it's a big gainer. It's 25 yards.
Now let's watch the pass pro on this play. Let's set up. Okay. And we're going slow so we can see it. Looks like another overload blitz, right? Although Fitzpatrick knows better, but he's already counting the numbers and he's like, okay, that's a lot of green over here. It's one on one over here. So I'm, I already know where I'm probably going unless something pops on the far side, but it doesn't. We'll see the pass pro here. There's the snap and we're running it slow. Good pass off right there. See it? There's pressure up here. But Fitzpatrick has enough time to get rid of it. Good throw, by the way. Right on time for the hook. And now Devontae Parker is getting some yak. Passes up right there. If he could get a block, but he doesn't. He's a little ahead of his blocks. It's like Maybe he wants to cut inside. Had a good idea right there to cut it back outside, but still, that's 25 yards. Very good quarterback play by Ryan Fitzpatrick on that one. All right, the score is 13 to 3, and the ball's on the 18 yard line. It's the third quarter. I'm trying to get a score here and try to salt this thing away. And we're running it. Dolphins are in 11 personnel, it's first and 10. Trying to mount a drive here. Matt Breda is the running back. And we're going to run it a little bit quicker so you can see it. And we're going to stop it right here. Okay, that's Lynn Bowden that they're bringing across the formation. What are the Jets doing? They're kind of like in some type of overfront, but they're aligned correctly, really, for the play. They have a guy in the A gap, okay, and they're going to try to crash down on this side. I guess maybe. You could have had some type of, I don't know, maybe you could have called the loop. Or maybe this linebacker right here could have called a, a slide in alignment, maybe. Maybe he could, have called, he could have asked his defensive tackles to slant instead of run whatever play that they were running. But it's very well executed against a properly lined up defense, which is always something to see. See, there's the run play. Successful. 12 yards. I'm going to show you what they're trying to accomplish here as we're running it slow. Let them line up first. And what's interesting here is that Shaheen is basically acting as a tackle, and he does a very, very good job. Okay. They're going to bring Lynn Bowden quick across the formation that's going to try to get some type of lean and hopefully get one of these guys to start stepping right and start anticipating because if they do it's going to open up the hole even bigger but what they're trying to do is they're trying to wall off this guy right here jesse davis is going to try to hook him and get him out of the way robert hunt's going to try to release and Adam Shaheen is trying to get anybody off of the edge and kick him out. And what they're going to try to do is they're just going to run Breda into that hole. It's a zone blocking play. It's well executed. You're going to see what Breda sees there for a second. And did he make right choices? He got 12 yards on the play. You can't argue with 12 yards. But better vision gets him a better result, maybe. Very good job by Jesse Davis, by the way. As you can see, he's he's just moving his man out. Very nice release by Robert Hunt. He got to the second level. There's, there's Breda. Good cut. Good cut. Maybe does he have another cut here inside of Mike Collins and he could take it the whole way? Possibly. But he got 12 yards. Good execution on... A run play that pretty much 32 teams run in the NFL. All right, the Jets are trying to get back into this game. It's 13-3. to And it's fourth and one at the Miami 17. There's 13-29 left. This is a pretty important 
play probably the most important play of the game Jets as you can see they're in 13 personnel they got three tight ends they have one wide receiver now you would say okay everybody's selling out to stop the run here so why won't they throw it well you know the Dolphins very simply they're just you know they have they have people to cover any possible outlet passes or even this wide receiver but they're gonna just gonna it's basically zero and if anything they're gonna have a safety in the short zone these are one of these plays you live with if they throw it on you and they throw it on you successfully this is just man on a man and you just gotta execute and we're gonna run it quick so you can see and then we're gonna slow it down okay so you can get an, a bird's eye view as you can see they tuck in the the wide receiver into the formation and it looks like it's just basically a slant and they're playing for a cutback right and Alana Roberts shoots a hole and stuffs it great play and then I'm gonna show you how they executed this I'm gonna show you what they're trying to do all right we're going slow We'll see Bobby McCain right there call it. Bobby McCain right there is saying, farthest man. So he's telling Eric Rowe, look, we're going man on man. McCain knows this is a tight end, and I want to draw it up for you. So if you saw McCain signal to Eric Rowe, which means Eric Rowe is going to take this man. If they release, Eric Rowe has this tight end. Remember, you already have a corner out here with a, with a wide receiver. Bobby McCain is taking the inside man. He already said, you got outside. So they already got it. So what are the Jets trying to accomplish here? Okay, now this is Byron Jones. So he's also eyeing this tight end. And if this tight end releases, Byron Jones has him. Right? So what are the Jets trying to do? They're just slant blocking. They're just trying to get one man over. Right? One man over. Give the handoff to Frank Gore. And have him choose either the cut back lane or one of the natural gaps that opens up, you know, because of the wash. Now, what do this? How do you defend this as a defense? Well, it's pretty simple. You have to engage people, and not only do you have to engage people, you have to engage them over. If they move, you have to follow them. If one of them pulls, you got to shoot that gap quick. Okay. So you're basically just, it's man on man. So you just got to, if you could defeat your man, great. But if not, what you're trying to do is engage over. Now, the most important part of this, this which essentially is a goal line defense, is Raekwon Davis, which is, he's right here, okay? He has to read the play because he has to stand up to center. He can't get blown out of there. So he has to stand up to center, and he has to stand up to any double team. Because if the double team comes, that's where the play is going. Okay? Especially in this personnel set. Now, what is Landon Roberts reading? Well, he's reading the slants, right? And he's reading the cutback lane, which should be in one of these holes. It should be either, I don't know, the two hole, the three hole, the two hole, or the three hole. Okay, this is three. This is two. Okay? So, he has to make a quick decision he has to know either to shoot the cutback lane or just flow with the play okay he shoots the cutback lane and he shoots it hard we're going to run it we'll run it slow so you could see how it's executed watch Raekwon Davis by the way he's right here here's a snap And we're going to stop it. Holes developing, right? Well, Alanda Roberts has a decision to make. Okay? He could either shoot the play side or shoot the cutback lane. What does he do? Well, let's watch. He shoots the cutback lane. And he shoots it well stuffed. Great read by Alanda Roberts. Great play. By Raekwon Davis. Even better play by Zach Sealer. Everybody did their job there. Nobody did their job better than Alonda Roberts.
All right, the score is 13 to 3. There's 10 minutes, 33 seconds left in the game. And this kicks off the touchdown drive. And what they're doing here, and you're going to see it right now, it's first and 10, right? And they're in 11 personnel, and they have DeAndre Washington in the game, new running back. And they're running a lead play, okay? But DeAndre Washington sees it clogged up and improvises a bit, uses his speed, gets 16 yards. I'm going to show you how it's supposed to be executed. As you can see right there, kind of leaky blocking, right? Great play, DeAndre Washington. Good speed to get outside. And now he's making a beeline for the sideline. That's a 16-yard gain. Good imp improvisation by the running back. I like the way he played in this game. He looked good. I want to show you how this play is supposed to be executed blocking-wise. As you can see, that's Adam Shaheen, okay? It's 11 personnel, all right? We're going to run it slow so you can see it develop. Okay? And we're going to stop it. Okay. This is a lead play, right? And they're leading right, okay? So how are they supposed to block this? Well, it starts with a double. This is Robert Hunt, and this is Jesse Davis. You're going to try to release out to the second level with your center, okay? Since it's going right, we don't really care about what this side of the line does. You want to get some blocks naturally. Like, if you can get your guard to the second level to pick up a, a linebacker, that'd be awesome. Naturally, if you do that and you're running lead right, then your left tackle is probably going to have to cut the de defensive end, right? So those are some things that you have to think about. But as long as you can stand these guys up, the play side is this way, right? So this is where we're blocking. You're going to release the center, and then you're going to get your guard and your tackle to double this defensive tackle, and that's a point of attack, right? Adam Shaheen is going to try to wall off a defender, and you're just trying to get your running back one-on-one -on -one with a linebacker in the hole. Naturally, if you could get a double on this defensive tackle, you could also get your tackle, which is Robert Hunt, to scrape and pick up another block. And if he does, then your running back can read that block to either take it into this hole or this hole. Or he has to bounce outside. And we'll see what happens and what happens on this play that gets DeAndre Washington going downhill. And by the way, the Jets are in a nickel. And they're also properly aligned again. So, you know, this is well executed. As you can see, it's leaky. And Hewitt... Busts the play, basically. But DeAndre Washington, good physical skills. He just outruns everybody to the corner. That play was absolutely dead in the water. The only thing they got right on that play was the double. But the lead did not work. But the player made it work with his physical skills. His speed. 16 yards. That started... Their touchdown drive to Adam Shaheen, their pass to Adam Shaheen, which essentially iced the game and won them the game 20-3. to That's it for this week on Yard Work.